Oh, and I really want to have clean power. I make sure to take a bath or a shower at least once every other day to wash the dirt and germs away. Scrub a dub -a in the tub, -a, what a healthy scene. And I always use some soap to keep me nice and clean. So clean. Healthy habits help to keep a person fit. We all have a body, let's learn to take care of it. Don't forget, my friends, that there are a few places that you should be sure to get to. Make sure the soap and water flows behind your ears, between your toes. Scrub a dub -a in the tub will never cause you pain. Then pull the plug -a with a tug of dirt flows down the drain. Healthy habits help to keep a person fit. We all have a body. Let's learn to take care of it. Repeat, my body belongs to me. You see, my body belongs to me. My body belongs to me. You see, my body belongs to me. I'll keep it as clean as I can. You see, my body belongs to me. I'll keep it as clean as I can, you see, my body belongs to me. My body belongs to me, you see, my body belongs to me. My body belongs to me, you see, my body belongs to me. Now give your body a nice warm hug. Learn to be your own best friend. I just love taking nice, refreshing baths. Hey, have you ever wondered why it's so important to keep clean? When someone says to you, wash your hands, bath time, or take a shower, have you ever thought, well, how come? What's the big deal? Well, here's why. During the day when you run around, you often get sweaty and dirty. Now, that's fine and natural. But if you leave your skin like that for too long, it may not be healthy. Let's visit the professor to find out why. This is Professor Yubi Schmart speaking to you from my research center. Recently, I have been investigating germs. Germs are tiny creatures which live all around us and share our world. They even live on the surface of our skin. Allow me to show you what the real germs look like under a microscope. Did you know that hundreds of real germs could fit on the head of a pin? Our skin protects us from germs. As a matter of fact, it's our number one barrier against germ invasion. But if the skin is broken at all, even by a tiny cut, germs could get in and start an infection. But washing our skin helps remove these germs and helps guard against disease. Now, the germs on our skin can also mix with the sweat and create a bad odor. Oh, P.U. Oh, I, I've been working hard today, and I think I better go clean my skin right away. Cleaning your skin cleans your pores. Pores are the tiny openings in your skin that release fluids and oils that keep your skin cool, soft, and moist. Now, usually, pores are too small to be seen, but if you use a magnifying glass and look closely, you can see the pores on your own skin. Right now, I want you to use your imagination and pretend that you were so small that you could actually climb down into one of these openings with me and see what happens as this pore is about to be plugged up by some dirt. Everything looks clean and clear today, tra-la, tra-la. Just doing my job and things are okay, tra-la, tra-la. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's that I see? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's coming for me. A piece of dirt. It's getting so near. A piece of dirt. I'm trembling with fear. And there's a germ to cause infection. Oh, please. Oh, please. I need some protection. It's plugging me up. I'm stopping completely. The odor is bad. Oh, I used to smell sweetly. Oh, please, body, help. Get rid of this crime. Please, body, help. Now is the time. 
I'm being rescued, hip hip hooray. The dirt has been all washed away in the spray. Skin isn't the only thing that needs to be kept clean. Other parts of our body get dirty as well. Our teeth, for instance. Let's go visit our body buddy, the dentist. Now, now we're going to be using a mirror and an explorer. Okay, when I look in your mouth, because I'm going to be looking around to see if you have any cavities. The Explorer is, has a little point on it, it touches your teeth. Put your finger up, put your finger up here. Okay, because I want to show you, because some people think that it hurts, but it doesn't hurt. Pretend like I'm um, putting this point on your tooth, and I'm feeling around, just like I'm feeling around on your fingernail. Mainly because there are a lot of times when you have cavities on your teeth that are so small, I can't see them and you can't see them, but I can feel them with the Explorer. Open wide, pal. See. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh-oh. Done now. You have a cavity. In fact, I think you might have two cavities. We're going to have to take some x-rays, okay? There's places in your mouth, even when you brush your teeth, that the toothbrush won't reach. And two of those places are in between your teeth and up underneath your gums. Okay? I tore off a piece of floss. We usually say about 18 inches. Okay, not a short piece. Then you wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around your middle fingers, okay? Because when you actually work with the floss, you only want it to be a little short piece, maybe about an inch or an inch and a half. Okay? Okay. Then what you want to do, you got to open your mouth real wide and make sure that the floss goes down in between the teeth and you move it back and forth. You push it down up under the gums as far as you can get it, okay? And make a little U around the tooth. You see how it's hugging the tooth? And then bring it out. Okay, Kathy, it's your turn. We're gonna see if you can use the dental floss. That's good. Okay, I'll take that. Now, what's next? You wrap it around your middle finger. That's right. Hold it with, these with your two. hold it with your thumb and your index finger. That's the girl. That's the girl. There you go. See how it's easier to work with it when it's a little bit shorter. It's easier when you hold it the right. Oh, yeah. Well, that's true too. That's true too. Okay. Let's go all the way around now. Let me watch you while you do it, and try to get the sides. Okay. Good. Push it up. Make a little C. Good. Excellent. How often do you floss? Well, you should floss every single time you brush your teeth, okay? But if you're not always able to do that, then you should floss at least once a day, and it should be before you go to bed. That was good advice from our body buddy, but the dentist can't do it all. Our job is to brush and floss every day. Did you know that the foods we choose can help our teeth too? Dairy products, such as milk and cheese, have minerals which help make our teeth strong. Apples and carrots act as natural toothbrushes that help keep our teeth clean. Remember, healthy teeth are important to a well body and a nice smile. Oh, hello, you little kitties. It's your old friend, Harry T. Sludge. I'm going to share some secrets with you that will help you become grungy and grimy and gross and slimy. In other words, adorable, just like me. Anybody can be clean and neat, but it takes real talent to be sickening. But I can help you. I'm going to show you how to grow toenails and fingernails that get attention just like mine do. Yes. Now, first of all, you never wash your hands. You never scrub your nails. No water, no soap, because that would remove all the grunge and the germs. And the next thing is, you stay away from nail clippers and scissors and files, because they're enemies of hairy teeth, and they will stop your nails from getting long and twisted like mine. And now the biggest secret, come here. Keep dirt under all of your nails. Oh, yes, I even like 
fox live under this nail. It's like their own little playground. Hello, you little buggies. Daddy loves you. Mwah! And you see all the beautiful gray-green colors? And all that dirt. Well, that's very useful for getting lots of germs in your mouth when you eat your food. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. <clears throat> and when the fingernail cracks, you rip it off or you bite it. Because that way your fingers could get sore. And then your germs could get in, and then you could get sick. And pain makes you tough. And if you follow my advice, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Yeah. Do, do, do. One of these days, I'd like to catch that dirty character and help him clean up his act. Why, everybody knows cleanliness is important. Even animals like to keep clean. Animals, 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 get the shower, animals, for clean power. Tiger, tiger, big front feet, his paws and claws kept clean and neat. Mrs. Elephant rests her foot a while, see her get her toenails filed. Animals, keeping clean, animals. Troopers, here's General Health, commander of the International Health Brigade. Troopers, I want all of you to be in command of your own clean hands. Make it a habit to wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. Yes, sir! It's your responsibility to wash before you eat. Yes, sir! And when you come in with dirty hands from play, clean them up. Yes, sir! When my troopers salute, I want to see clean hands. Yes, sir! Remember, make it a habit to be in command of a clean pair of hands. Yes, sir! Dismissed! That was good advice from the general. Remember, make it a habit to clean, groom, and trim. That's healthy advice. Take it from Slim. Healthy habits help to keep a person fit. It's your body. Learn to take care of it. Look at your hands right now. Could they be a little cleaner? Your nails a little trimmer? Repeat after me. My body belongs to me, you see. My body belongs to me. My body belongs to me, you see. My body Good. belongs to me. I'll keep it as clean as I can, you see. My body belongs to me. I'll keep it as clean as I can, you see. My body belongs to me. My body belongs to me, you see, my body belongs to me. My body belongs to me, you see, my body belongs to me. So long, stay well. <laughs>